Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Power Omega and Singapore. So I wanted to start this episode by saying thank you for all the views, likes and comments you guys posted because um, I'm really happy that you guys are having fun and that you're letting me know that you're having fun. I very much appreciate it. Unfortunately, I have uh, fell ill for the past week, so this is actually being recorded on the day when you will see the episode. I'm hoping my voice is getting a little bit better because I'm quicker recovering, but uh, we'll see. I checked uh, some test recordings that I did and it should be fine. But I apologize for any discomfort or if you see some skips in the videos, if I get a coughing fit or something like that, I apologize. Anyway, Singapore is doing better. We managed to get rid of the cartels and we have a fairly decent revenue of 1.2 billion, which should allow us to get what we need here because I want to get the extensive welfare state, for that we'll need about 500 million per week more. Advanced universal healthcare is gonna cost about 250 a million more so that's about three quarters of a billion and then we need to increase the small military spending to sizable military spending which is gonna cost us about well okay let's uh, even it out at a billion so if we got all of them right now we would be getting about 200 million per week which is good but it's nowhere near where we need to be so what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna continue with um, fixing our situation. Uh, we need to get a bit better situation with the electricity because we really don't have enough power. But we're fixing that uh, by expanding our fossil fuel plants, which are gonna give us an entirely new uh, fossil fuel power plant. Then we're gonna get the improved power plant efficiency and hopefully it will be done. Uh, after that we are going to get the Republic maybe because I need the political power Not Anything here that would give it to me Nope mm. We need political power because what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go in a sweep across Europe uh, Portugal Spain France and United Kingdom and Ireland are gonna be the first ones where we are going to start uh, improving relations and then we're gonna strike a trade deal with them just these five should give us about an additional 350 million per week which is good once that is in place we can start improving um, or improving start upgrading our services that we're gonna give to the people now it might seem like an overboard uh, thing to go uh, all the way to extensive welfare state but we need the monthly population same with the advanced universal, universal healthcare because from the long-term point the worst thing for us right now is population hell we don't even have enough people to man the army and uh, buildings meaning office centers that we have right now so how the hell are we supposed to expand if we don't have enough population so that's going to be the primary thing for us for the coming episodes to improve money situation improve population growth and um, then deal with that i'd also like to get a bit more electricity so that we have it uh, as a you know uh, sort of a buffer for ourselves but we'll see we'll see uh, second thing that I actually extensively investigated was what we can do with our combined arms and I'm not entirely sure to be quite honest. Now one thing that the game is doing here it's lying about the statistics uh, because we do not have any of our own light tanks. When you check the divisions though they have much higher soft and hard attack than the game is expecting because we have some foreign equipment here. So that's one thing. Though I think that these tanks are fairly old. Hold on, where are they? Here. We have the Centurion tanks in most of our divisions, if I'm not mistaken. Where is it? Yeah, Centurions. So once we get the deal with Great Britain, I'm gonna check what... Uh, wait, hold on, where is it here? Yeah. I'm gonna check what Great Britain is selling, because I think that Centurion might be a fairly old main battle tank and we might start purchasing newer ones but we're gonna see we're gonna see either way there isn't much that we can do to improve our performance in the jungle to be quite honest we have a fairly high penalty to attack and defense and 
I mean, I don't know, if we switched all of these to our current IFVs, it would still be the same amount of penalty. Literally the only units that do not have penalties there, sorry, I'll have to do it this way, are infantry, which are getting a slight boost. Well, same with the airborne light infantry. The light air assault infantry is getting even more. But... Yeah, I don't know. If we just put these guys in, they would have stats like this, which is way lower than what we have right now. For a relatively small reduction in attack um, penalty for the jungle, which is like, if I calculate, if I remember correctly, like 15%? Yeah, 15%. But our soft attack and hard attack right now is about, what, 25%? What about... Let's go at 15% higher on the soft attack and a hard attack about 30%. So that doesn't seem like a right way to go. The base is always uh, more important than the modifiers because we can get additional modifiers like experience and stuff like that. But the base is where you calculate it from. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't see any... Wait, one more thing that actually I can try that I don't think I tried is check on you guys. You have... You have a bonus? So if we switch to like this, to mechanized infantry? What would that do? No, 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 it doesn't work. Okay, never mind then. Never mind, it's the best that we can get. Uh, so we'll just probably keep it like it is, but I would like if we will have some spare manpower, create an either upgraded air assault light infantry or fully autonomous special units that we're gonna have as a, a defense for Singapore. The main point is going to be to boost their performance in the urban environment. For our current divisions, what we need to give them is, of course, the uh, combat engineers. We've already spoke about that, that they have an engineer company is going to help them greatly. Uh, they're going to boost their stats and reduce their penalty to attack and defense in the jungle. So that's one thing that we can go with. And I'm not sure if you guys are doing anything. We'll actually give a penalty. Well, no. So we might go with something like this, but that's 52, and what's the size here? Okay, that would be fine. So we can expand them to 52, maybe even slightly more to get them all, uh, or two of them in the combat and one in the combat in the other side. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, that's the plans for now. Uh, we have leased a factory to help us construct more of these uh, forts that we're building. So let's keep it at that. I'll have to keep monitoring the fuel. I already screwed up once when it comes to fuel, so let me just make sure that we keep it in our mind. This is really harsh. So 29th of uh, October. I'm considering using another factor because uh, I think it was Volfa who mentioned that uh, you know we would be in deep trouble in case we get attacked because our fuel reserves wouldn't hold. So filling them is actually a great idea. Even expanding them and building some fuel storages might be a really important for us. But we gotta always lease more factories and import more uh, more fuel if they don't blockade us. So we'll see. Anyway, let's unpause and go. Oh hey, modern step. <laughs> been a while since I got that. Okay. United States are offering us access to their civilian network. I'll take that. Why not? Okay. And we can now start improving the relations with Spain. Portugal. France. United Kingdom. And Ireland. They're all in Western Outlook area, so they should give us uh, the trade agreement without any issues. Now, we're still getting a pretty decent uh, daily political power. And another thing that Wolfau has actually suggested in the comments that I like is the fact that we should get 
uh, high command as soon as possible because we need to increase our army experience gain, naval and air experience gain as quickly as possible. That's something that I kind of ignored, but uh, it will be important for us very soon, especially if we start getting some more things. Okay, reconnaissance, I'll take it. You and you as well. And of course, I mean, we need, we still need to get the intelligence agency, but at this point, it is not as important. Another satellite communication system, sure, sure. Give me everything you have, I will take it. And I will not dispute it. Okay, the investments in the foreign territory are important for us. We're gonna. Actually, there was one request, I forgot who requested it, but somebody asked me if I could do some more investments in Taiwan. And we might want to do that if we can. No, wait, no, 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 not Taiwan, Australia. Ah, my apology, it was Australia. I just realized because I was like, I was investing in Taiwan, but they want me to invest in Australia. So why not? Uh, we're gonna help Australia. Okay, invest in here. Okay, they have only a few. Okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, and I can't invest here because I do not have enough money. Oh, they probably cannot have that much infrastructure, right? Yeah, okay. And Tasmania. Okay, so we've spent quite a lot of money. Uh, the interest rate is only 2.49% though, and we're gonna get a bit more revenue for that, so Generally speaking, this should help us overall, but I don't want to cheat on that system too much. I'll just keep it as it is and make sure that we do it right. So don't forget, 28th of October is the time when we buy more fuel. Okay, second fort has been finished in our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful city of Singapore. Let me see how far we are with the relations with the nations, because I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna burn a ton of political power on signing that. Yeah, but we need to get this... Infantry division, motorized division, artillery attack... I think this is better, I don't know if it... That would work. Huh. Damn, political power is gonna be a huge, huge issue for us. Is there any filter for political? Does any of you... Okay, you give. 100 and, yeah, we wanted the economic reforms that improves... Yeah, that would be a good way to go. Singaporeans first. Oh, God. I remember just political... Power. And the veteran is only one, and that's this one. No, wait. Faith in establishment. Wait, what are you doing? The centralized protocol. Remove centralized bureaucratic state. Large civil service administration and decentralized government. It's also not helping. I like that these guys lower the interest rate and give us construction speed 15%. 
but I don't know if this is really helpful. Can I go with power? Would that help? Yeah, that seems a bit better. But still, it doesn't really help. Okay, here's one. Strength in Straits. Wow, we have... I guess that's the biggest issue for us. We just don't have enough political power for what we need to do. We have to deal with it. So what I'm considering now is whether we want to get the army experience more or the deals more. None of these guys are even useful because infantry division attack, we don't have any infantry and we have only very little motorized. So getting you for us is not... You actually lower recovery rate. Now that is just abysmal. Planning speed, that's useless. Okay, so let's get you. That's gonna start us off on the army experience. It, what, tripled? Yeah, pretty much tripled our daily gain, which is good. And we'll start signing these deals once we can, which is gonna be very soon. Okay, I don't think we can do it right now, but it's gonna be very soon. Okay, our income continues to increase and we are getting very close to being able to buy more fuel. I haven't forgotten, I'm so proud of myself. Days left for free. Two. Come on, two. And one. And we're there. Yeah, we're getting dangerous and low on fuel. Okay, so that keeps us off for another month. And we can do it once more at around 25th of November. But what I wanted to check here now was... Oh yeah, I didn't want to check anything, but I wanted to do this. I wanted you guys... Wait, Singapore over here. I actually wanted you to be put on the border and have a battle plan ready because that is a little bit of a bonus that we can use even if it's just 19% in case of an attack we'll need it and as quickly as possible. Sure, revoke our access, I don't care much. It's the next Fossil fuel power plant coming. We need to have money ready for that. Are we spending money on that or are we not? Yeah, we are, okay. Please say this actually is screwing us when it comes to political power gain. Not dramatic way, but it is. Okay, two more days that we can sign the first one. And they would still not accept. Why? Wait, why was a... Why was signing it with you guys so easy? And with you guys it's not. What's the difference here? 
same outlook in proved relations. Wait, we don't have the same outlook? What the hell? Far Beaver Western? And I can see that here. Yeah, Western. Western outlook. You guys don't have a Western, Western outlook? That's a bit weird. I don't know what's. Okay, well, Britain would take it. So that's one of them taken care of. Well, I guess it can't be that easy, can it? Uh, so they gave us additional boost, but let me just check before I forget about the Challenger tanks. Because that is something that we need to... S oh, no, the Centurion. Okay, so it's super old. So we'll have to phase them out. Um, ideally for the German tanks. Someone actually mentioned in the comments that we would need to uh, get better technology. That is true if I wanted them to give me uh, license. Then I would need to have technology myself, but if I just want to buy them off the market, then I can buy what they're offering and have them sell me whatever they want. 84 of these, huh? How many do we need? Because I'm not entirely sure we need so many. 14. Oh, we need recon tanks. AMX-13, those are the French ones. So we need just one batch of tanks. Oh, that's right, because that's the tank company, and we have a white tank battalions. Is there a difference between a white tank and a tank battalion in... It would actually make the penalty worse. Huh. Doesn't seem that way. Oh, can I deploy because we don't have manpower? Gotcha. <laughs> all the cards, guys. All the cards are stacked against us. But let me see. If we want to buy white things, then. Okay, we buy way more of them. Yeah, the Amex 13 is the oldest one. So we could actually buy some pretty good ones from Germany or United States. And we would need what? What was it? 140 per. 126, so if we buy three batches, we'll have a couple extra in reserve. So let's say we want to buy four. So it's going to be an investment of roughly four times seven. Okay, let's go with five batches. We really need some reserve tanks, so that would be 35 billion. We can win that. That's not an issue. We'll just have to make sure that it's okay. The assassination of Ahmed Shah Massoud. Ahmed Shah Massoud, the main leader of the Afghan resistance against the Taliban, has been assassinated by the Al Qaeda. Two members of the Taliban, posing as journalists, set off explosives hidden in their equipment. Massoud was gravely wounded and evacuated in a military helicopter, but he died of his wounds before reaching the hospital. Known as the Lion of Panjshir. Masood was a symbol of resistance first against the Soviet occupation and then against the Taliban. By the way guys, if you don't know this one, this guy was amazing. A read on him. He was great. Okay, we get the Wi-Fi, the CRISPR, the gene therapy. And you will come soon. So let's choose the next technologies that we can get. These ones are all ahead of time. These ones aren't. One thing that I definitely want 
is increase in construction. I don't know how many bonuses though we have, and I would really like to get the genetic and modified crops as well. Okay, let's get construction. Okay, now we have less of a bonus, but still genetic and modified crops and Oh, these ones are so expensive. Let's get the advanced control integration. Lowers power use, civilian industry, office sector, and military and naval yard power, construct, power consumption. That's actually going to be important for us so we don't have to buy uh, more. I mean, 5%. How big is 5% for us right now? So 1%, well actually that would remove almost all of our penalty. You guys are almost done, so let's get it, it's 362 days. Integrating some rudimentary algorithms into thermostats and control systems, efficiency can be further improved, allowing some additional energy savings. Okay, and let's finish this episode by getting the fossil fuel power, oh actually. Can I buy? No, not yet. Five days. Okay. Which is incidentally about the time when we get the new power plant. Things work out for our... for us themselves. Okay, will Ireland be the one that we can sign the deal with? The Xinjiang Special Administrative Region is established. Following a positive reaction in the Xinjiang Autonomous Region to recent liberalization, and the declassify of the Eastern Turkestan Islamic Party, the Chinese leadership declassif as part of the declassification. The Chinese leadership has decided to replace Xinjiang's autonomous region status with that of a special administrative region. This change is a status this change of status is accompanied by a large degree of self rule. Okay. Cool. We got the power plant, and so that I don't forget, I'll buy the fossil fuel now. So this is going to reset itself. Uh, we are going to continue with the improvement here, because that will give us extra gen power generation, more bonuses to fuel and oil, tax and industry. But I don't think we're going to continue down the line from now. We could actually go with this one next, because that's going to help us. Yeah, that's going to help us a bit, but I think the Republic is a bit more important. We need that 50 political power. Okay, let's get the improved power plant efficiency. Improvements to the efficiency of our fossil fuel power plants could be extremely advantageous for our limited resources. Sure thing. And on that note, I'm going to end the episode here, and I'll see you in the next one. So until then, you guys, take care.